we're looking down under for a glimmer of hope. A former COVID-19 hotspot in Australia has eliminated the virus. Australia's second largest state, Victoria, marking a welcome milestone Friday, going 28 days without detecting any new infections. The benchmark meets the official definition for elimination of the coronavirus. The state's premier calling it a good way to end the week. Tweeting in part, it's been a long, hard slog to get here. Victorians have dug so deep and sacrificed so much. Victoria, with a population of more than 6 million coming a long way from its spike in August, when it had some 8,000 active cases. So how did they do it? In part, a strict lockdown stretching more than 100 days helped stem the spread. People in Melbourne, Australia's second largest city, were largely confined to their homes. Many businesses forced to shut and borders to nearby regions were closed. On Friday, Tasmania became the latest state to open its border to Victoria, allowing families to reunite for the first time in months. A reminder of the lockdown's emotional toll. Australia's economy also hit hard as Reuters reports in July, the country's unemployment rate hit a 22-year high of 7.5%. When it comes to the current status of the virus, though, Victoria's in good company. Other regions like New South Wales, South Australia and Queensland also recorded no new local cases Friday. A cheerful embrace of Victoria's progress coming in the form of donuts. Zero daily cases is widely referred to as a donut day in Australia. The Guardian traces the fun term back to a COVID data analyst who first used donuts in place of zeros months ago. He tells the paper, usually waiting for COVID numbers each time is tense and anxious. So I thought donuts might be a fun way to celebrate achievements. Victoria's chief health officer even replacing the O in his title with a donut. While things are looking good, there are still restrictions in place. Limits on gatherings, face masks, that sort of thing. And there are still signs that the virus is lingering. Surveillance of wastewater in Victoria show there are more virus fragments in the community. Melissa Duggan, City News.